This episode is brought to you by Loot Crate. Would you classify yourself as a geek, gamer, or pop culture nerd? Then this is the subscription box for you. For less than $20 a month, you get six to eight items of gamer and pop culture licensed gear, apparel, collectibles, unique one of a kind items, and more. Make sure to head to lootcrate.com slash kfgames and enter code kfgames to save $3 on any new subscription. Not that long ago, and depending on where you live, not so far away, Loot Crate blasted off into a voyage across the galaxy, searching the far reaches of space to find universally awesome gear. Using December's Star Wars The Force Awakens loot as the launch pad, we landed on some equally cosmic items from Halo 5 and more. With an exclusive Funko Pop and an exclusive shirt in this month's crate, this is the loot that you're looking for. Basically, Loot Crate's like a friend who knows what you love and surprises you with an awesome present every month. You have until the 19th at 9 p.m. Pacific to subscribe and receive that month's crate, and when the cutoff happens, that's it. It's over. So go to lootcrate.com slash kfgames and enter code kfgames to save $3 on your new subscription today. Your new subscription... So we had to take a break. And while we did it, Anthony Carboni turned into Portello. Look at those ears. He has better ears than you used to have. Oh, my God. I call him all-terrain Portillo sometimes. Mm, sometimes. It makes sense when he's on tables and shit. So Anthony left. He had to go. So uh, if you like him, go to patreon.com slash acarboni. Go check out his shiznit. As always, this last topic brought to you by... The Kind of Funny Forums. Go over there, kindoffunny.com slash gamescast topic. Leave your topic. We'll get to them. Just like my boy Trevor Starkey did. He says, hey guys, now that Minecraft's on the Wii U, do you think that it'll move Wii U systems? No. No. I don't either. But I do think it's interesting that Nintendo made a big deal. That, oh, we have an announcement. Not the biggest deal, but they're like, oh, we have something big coming on Monday. And then it was just, it was Minecraft. What I was talking about. I was about shocked it, that it wasn't there already. I thought it, it has was. to be some kind of deal, right? That the reason this is happening is because they can port it then easier to NX and it can be an NX launch title too and just be there. Mm. That's my, oh, like, my theory What's weird why. is so it came out and at least as of right now, you can't do management and stuff with the gamepad. It's just a screen. Exactly. So it's like, yeah. Exactly. They, they said they're going to add it though. Okay. We'll see. I'm sure they will. Not, they've said something, but it seems like it was timed with something. Hmm. So then, Wolf8047 says, what prequel games would you love to be made? Ugh. Prequels. Give me a prequel to Infamous, where I just play Cole and he's just a bike messenger, and it's just a Paperboy clone, and it's on Vita. Done. What if Paperboy was? On Vita? No, the prequel to Infamous. The Paperboy is. The prequel, the prequel that I always wanted back in the day that I, I don't think I'd want so much now, but definitely when, when the time was right, I would have loved a Final Fantasy X prequel that was the pilgrimage of Jekt, Arin, and um, Nina's dad. I don't remember what the fuck his name was, but them doing the, the same thing. Mm, yeah. and the, the original story that they keep alluding to and stuff, I always thought that would have been pretty cool. I don't know. Um, I, it's something, not something I think about, right? I don't really think about prequels. Yeah, I don't either. I mean, there are series that are really good about filling in timelines like Castlevania where there's no need because mm. um, there's just so much There's so much story. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I, really you, have to, I don't want to give a bad answer, so I'd rather just not say anything at all. Okay. You know? How would you feel if I told you we're going to do an Uncharted game that's just Young Drake? Nah. Okay. I wouldn't be happy with that. My what least if, favorite part of Uncharted 3. Really? I think it's an <laughs> awesome what? part of Uncharted. That's crazy. Yeah. But that's I mean, crazy. But that, that's what makes it special is that you only do that once. Okay. Do not, do not what about, what? I, now that I've said Infamous, what if you did play as uh, alternate, what if you played as Kessler and it was Kessler's story? That could be cool. That would be cool. Yeah. And we could even start it at, you know, a different point where we're playing. I'm sure mm -hmm. I have an answer that's good, but I just can't think of it right now. Okay. Um, Brash Kandipoot says... Christmas season is upon us, and it gave me an idea for a topic for you guys. What's the greatest gift gaming has ever given you? Cherished moment, relationship, etc. A girl from college invited me over to play Guitar Hero 3. She's now my wife of almost five years and mother of my two children. Yeah. Thank you, Guitar Hero. Happy holidays to the whole kind of funny crew. Happy holidays to you, Brash Candiboot. I hope they started playing good, like strip Guitar Hero. Mm. You know what I mean? Oh, my favorite game. Yeah. yeah. That was Guitar Hero 4, I think. The one that had the strip. Option? I didn't know this existed. I'm joking. I'm just being, I'm okay. Um, I was like, damn. My favorite, my favorite Christmas gaming gift is Prince of Persia Warrior Within. Because mm. I was not old enough to buy the game because it was rated M for mature. Right. And I was not mature. T for teen at the time. Gotcha. And um, I didn't think I was going to get it, but Kevin's sister got it for me. 
one of the few positive things that she's that ever done creature has brought into my life <laughs> <laughs> um i thank her for that and that alone wow that's yeah. harsh uh so yeah christmas games i mean like it was things that pop out I've that wasn't about- the question well, that's how he just took it, though. Okay. So I'm wondering if that's not how. Okay, well, that's. Like, I mean, well, I, I liked. I like that idea that way yeah. because I feel like the, obviously, like, oh, our jobs and our right, careers right. Yeah, is yeah. the answer to that. Sure. Stuff. Okay. Yeah. So all right. So we'll I mean, take... yeah, the one I've talked about it before, and I'll say again, is uh, Royal Rumble and the Sega Genesis, and then my cat barfed on it, but yeah. Sega Genesis had those like nice, you know, cases, didn't have to worry about it, and then of course my N64 because my N64 was hidden like Little Red Rider BB gun style. Whereas, like, so clear, I was gonna get an N64 for Christmas that year, and then you finished all your presents and you didn't get it. And my parents sent me downstairs or something, and on the way back up, you saw it on the hall tree. I was like, "Yeah, good call, mom and dad." And it was that it was that fat Sam's Club bundle, Ooh. so it had the system and Mario and another controller and all that stuff bundled right yeah. there. Cool. Uh, Mega Man Three I got for Christmas. Uh, Link to the Past I got for Christmas. Um, those are the two big ones from when I was a kid that I was like super super excited about. So I would say those. Yeah. yeah. Good answers. Good answers. It's like family feud. Um, I see the board. Hamud07 says, hi, guys. What superhero besides Superman, Greg, would make a great video game? And what do you think of a beat up Justice League game like Castle Crashers? I think it'd be cool. I think that would be cool, too. Yeah. I wish that there was more little things like that going on. I wish like that, I mean, like, DC we, stuff. that's the thing is every so often they loan the license out and they do something like Scribble Knots, DC mm. Scribble Knots. Like, that's a fucking great idea. Why don't you do more goofy shit like that? You know what I mean? Um, what well, uh, you said that and it springs to mind the thing I've been pitching forever, which now has gone in two vi- radically different directions, which I imagine means it'll never come back to my direction. But an Invincible Telltale game would have been awesome because mm. Invincible has the exact same problems Superman has. But in a Telltale game, would be fine. But then we put Batman in there, which is interesting because Batman's been done well the other way. So yeah, um, that would be good. You know, you always want a Green Lantern game, but then you're like, well, it just doesn't work because it's never. I, you, this guy can imagine anything, and it, so, yeah. all I can imagine is a hammer, hammer. and a fucking jet plane. I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, that sucks. Uh, Flash could be cool, but it but it would be it's a similar thing of like. How do you mix in a meter that slows down time when in reality he should be able to slow down time anytime? But it's focus. It does. It, it does take focus. Yeah, I can't really think of any like Spider Man's. Oh, Iron Man. Iron Man could be a really cool game. Yeah, they took they, a lot of shit, shit, shits on it trying to. But. Yeah, but I think they could. It could be there. Yeah, it could be there. Yeah. Iron Man. Iron Man. Iron Man. Okay, Iron Man. Yeah. Uh, Zed says. Hi guys, long time, first time. StarCraft 2 Into the Void is out in the world and no mention in the games cast. What are your thoughts on the game? I was hoping that Carboni would still be here for this because he might have something to say. Our thoughts are we don't play those games. Yeah, so that's so why we, we don't, don't talk, talk about them. Those games. Yeah. Not, no disrespect yeah, to them. Exactly. We understand People StarCraft. Love him. Sean Finnegan is like super jazz, jizzing everywhere. That's what happens. Like the like the Star Wars music. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you know it's called Jizz? Is that was that this show? No, that was a different, no, show. Was a different show. That's uh, a that's a look in the future. Here. Time yeah. is broken. Sabi says, hey, coolest dudes in video games. Hey. I was wondering if Colin ever continued playing Persona 4 Golden and if he plans to play Persona 5. Also, I want to know if Tim had any interest in playing a Persona game. Love the show, and thanks for being some of the best friends in the world. No, I never got back to it, and I, I'd like to play Persona 5, but it's it's not going to be a priority to me unless I... I, I would like to play 4 first. I'd mm-hmm. feel like a poser if I didn't just jump into 5. So I know they're not interconnected, but... I'm very interested in it. Uh, 4 <laughs> is one of those things where it's just like, I just don't... I feel like it's too much time to invest into something. I feel like it's too late to invest at this point. Five, definitely interesting. Give it a shot. It's not like too late to invest in four. I think it just is. Just to say. I think it is. I don't think it is. You have yeah. Evita. I know. You have sexy Nathan Drake. Right? I still haven't beaten uh, Drake's whatever the fuck. It's Golden Abyss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drake's Golden Abyss. Drake's Golden Abyss. Drake's Coffee Cake. Yeah. Murder of Birds. Oh, my God, dude. Calm down. That's, that's, a, that's a, a group of birds. It's a murder. Well, I learned something today. Really? Thank yeah. you, Colin, for teaching me. That's weird as shit. Greetings, Tim, Colin, mm-hmm. and Greg. I started playing the first Wild Arms games for, for the first time, having only played the sequel during my childhood, when I noticed that the currency for the game is called Gella. Jella. Gella, yeah. Gella. I'm Jella. And this got me thinking. Amongst the three of you, how many different forms of currency Ugh. can you remember across all video games? I'm too tired for this question. I don't know if I can answer this question right now. Gil, rupees, gold, rupees, 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 gold, yeah. um, coins in Mario, rings in Sonic, yeah, dollars. Kingdom Hearts has money with a U and simoleons U-N-Y. from Sims. Um, I'm, I could, I would love to jump down this rabbit hole, but I'm, I can't. Yeah, credits, blood, um, the red orbs in Devil May Cry, souls and soul sacrifice Delta, uh, bells in Animal Crossing. Yeah, that's a good one. That's really yeah. good. One. 
It's a good question. It's it a is. great question. It is. But I, I don't Silver. have the f- I don't have the mental capacity right now. To di- I gotta dig too deep. What's mm-hmm. that made up Italian money they used in Assassin's Creed? Two. Mm, I don't know. Poop money. Pokemon has that poop weird money. thing. That was it, all right. Ezio, you got more of that poop money? <laughs> I don't know if it's just Poke money, but it's like that weird like pee looking sign. Mm. I don't know what the fuck that is. Might be Poke dollars. Thing. Um, all right. Zeke Meister says, What are your first impressions on Far Cry Primal? From what I've been seeing, it has been getting very mixed reactions. And while I understand that taking guns out of Far Cry is something we never thought we would see, it still seems like a very cool concept and it will be made with Ubisoft's brilliant engine. I think people need to give it a chance. I think it looks cool. I'm going to give it a chance. I think what I've seen looks interesting. Yeah. I, the gun, they're not being guns hasn't had me hung up. The fact that I haven't played it is like, mm, all right. I just keep seeing trailers for it. I'm like, yeah, all right. Yeah. There we are. Yeah. The other question that we keep getting over and over and over is update on the Kojima Konami conspiracies and stuff. Sure. I feel like we've talked about that a lot. Right. I want to talk about it, that on PS I Love You. I want to give it a little bit more. Okay, cool. Check out PS I Love You episode 13. Yeah. Oh, Baker's Dozen. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Baker's Dozen. Yes. Um, check it out. And they talk about it there. I want to wait a little bit. We'll revisit that at some point, I'm sure. With a special guest, Hideo Kojima. <laughs> we can only hope. That'd be fucking amazing. I'll get people's hopes up, Greg. Yeah. All right. That topic. Brought to you by Loot Crate's new thing called Level Up. Level Up is a monthly mystery apparel subscription from Loot Crate. You can get two different pairs of high-quality socks, one to two fashionable accessories, or a wearable item like a long sleeve shirt or lounge pants. Same themes as Loot Crate every month, and it serves as a great companion to your loot because there's no repeats. Each month's theme is inspired by all your favorite pop culture brands like Star Wars, Doctor Who, and Fallout 4, and often contain high-quality exclusives. Go to LootCrate.com slash KFG promo to learn more. Use code KFG promo to save 10%. This month's theme is Galaxy, with Star Wars items perfect for Jedi, Padawans, Rebels, serious fans of Star Wars alike. What up? Again, that's KFG promo. It's a new one for you guys. All Enjoy. one word? All one word. Okay. KFG promo. Gotcha. LootCrate.com slash KFG promo. Promo code KFG promo. Jack. Jack. That's it. It's over. <laughs> I love Jack. Thank you guys for joining us this week. Thank you guys for being here. Thank, Thank you, you, Anthony Carboni and Portillo Carboni. Kevin, do me happening. a solid. Uh, will you put in, I want it to look like in Star Wars. Give me a ghost of Anthony Carboni right here, please. Force ghost Carboni. Thank you. <laughs> we'll see you next week. I love you. Thank you. Thank you.